Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. I figured I would get some messages from your person to start out. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I love you unconditionally. You and I were too young. I wish I had treated you better. I replay our conversations over and over, and I know I messed everything up. I'm so attracted to you. Ooh, somebody in their feelings. Somebody uh, completely blew a chance, seems like, with you. They messed everything up. They know they did. And that's how they feel, and they're feeling like they're, seems like they're living in their karma, whatever the situation was. Finances are here now. This person could be very shady and unfinished business keeps coming up for you tried to make you less than what the situation was just the hookup is here like you know this person tried to act like you wasn't the one you were the level up pretty much you were the best person they had even got with it looks like um you were a blessing that came along and they seemed like they just messed everything up poison at the bottom of the deck um your self-love and self-preservation keeps this person away from you it's like you decided you love yourself more than you love whatever they were handing out to you. Your finances are here, though, with unfinished business. Why? I feel like you were if not the breadwinner. You're about to be. This person sees you changing, sees you evolving, sees your money increasing. Feels like they should be around for that. You may be disappointed about the situation, but get up anyway and do what you got to do, okay? Magnetic attraction is here and emotional blackmail. This person knows how to get to you. They know that you're attracted to them. They know, they just know, but that doesn't work anymore. It, I feel like it used to work on you and now it's just like you see them for who they are, Jesus. Check their intentions, self-discipline is here. You may have been engaged to this person or was going in that direction. Um, now it's like, what have you learned from the situation? Gotta move on at the bottom of the deck. So let's put some tarot on this and see what's up. Because this was a deep situation. This was a um, tower at the bottom. This person in reverse. This person doesn't want this to end. This was a situation where they should have played their cards right. They really should have played the hand that they were dealt. And instead, they played themselves. They don't see anybody else in this light but you. This person is regretful right now and depressed. My nine of pentacles in reverse. This person isn't doing very well. Um, maybe keeping to themselves. Or you could be keeping to yourself. But I don't think this person's money is stable. You brought stability to this person. When you were in their life, they had good luck. Now that luck has changed. Knight of pentacles, knight of cups, being here with strength. You're standing in your strength when it comes to these love choices, honey. You are not taking any and everybody along for the ride. You do have a lot of suitors here, though. This ex is one of them. You also have a secret crush here. Some, this person is feeling so down about you not holding on to them anymore. You're not even holding on to them energetically. Even when you tap into these readings just to see what's going on, like you're still not really hold, you're not holding on to them. You're just moving on with your life. This person fucked everything up. They don't want to admit that they betrayed you. And then with this nine of cups being here, you know, it's, it feels like you're about to come into some abundance. This, this came up in another reading for you. Something is about to blow up for you. And it's like they can't stand the fact that they can't be around you when this happens, that they can't bask in your glory, that they can't be riding on your coattails when you're receiving all of this abundance. It's pissing them off. They really, really look at that ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They really feel like, I can't, what we're going to find out is, did they truly love you or did they truly love what you could bring to them? Because this Ace of Pentacles is here. And it's like, which one do you, which one are you not, which one is hurting you the most? The fact that you can't spend with this person anymore or the fact that you can't spend time with them anymore? A little bit of both. This person is not having any victories. 
I don't want to go that far, but it looks like they're trying to change their ways in a way here too. A lot of releasing here, these reversals. But also this person wears a mask. So they, it seems like they may be trying to do better for themselves just so that you'll take them back and they can still be around you in the abundance and the luck and everything that you bring. It's like this person, check their intentions, all right? Other motives involved. You're not trying to be a better person just to be a better person. You're just trying to be a better person to give back to whoever the collective is. Like this person is a fool. They really just want to give back to you to get back to, to them in a way, I guess. You're not interested at all. Death is here, eight of pentacles in the moon. You're not even interested in the things you don't know about this person anymore. It's just kind of like, you know what, whatever. That's who they want to be. That's just who they're going to be. Anything else about this person? They see that you have so many choices and that you've changed your mind about them completely and totally, even about them being a twin. You're no longer curious. You're no longer trying to figure out, well, if this is my twin, let me try to see if they're going to go through their ascension. You don't care. You're just like, hey, moving on, manifesting something new for myself. You can apologize all you want, but I'm happy on my own. And here you are as the high priestess. Queen of Pentacles right behind it, okay? What you don't see coming is the King of Pentacles right behind you. So who is this? Can we get into who that is really quickly? Because I'm over this old person. This person is always on your table. Like, jeez, you can't catch a break. Who is this King of Pentacles with this Queen of Pentacles? This is a dynamic duo here. This is two people that think the same in the same suit. Somebody that wants, ooh, somebody that wants a victory with you. They see all the burdens and all the load that you have to carry on your own, and they look at you like you still out here winning. Damn. They just went through a breakup themselves. They have left. This is your secret crush, whoever this is. They, um, they've recently walked away from someone themselves. It took them a while, as this person was lying to them as well. But yes, just double confirmation. They have walked away from whoever this was to them. And they're working hard on themselves. They're working on a truth here. Why the fool in reverse? There's an opportunity here, okay? Opportunity and truth is here. They're not willing to take so many risks with love because they're trying to heal themselves. That's their truth. But they do see you, man. They see you. They... they I don't know if this is a friend, it's come up before for you, but this is somebody that sees you, someone that has seen you go through a harsh time. Someone that saw you pull, pull yourself back together and still move with love. And that's what they wanna offer you. This Ace of Cups is here. This person truly wants to offer you love. Knight of Cups. They wanna come in romantically for you right now. What does this person want the collective to know? They find you very attractive, especially with this King of Wands being here. They find you very attractive. Oh, wow. King of Wands, King of Cups, and Nine of Cups. You are their complete and total package. Whoever this is for you, they looking at your, your old person like, were you fucking crazy? Like, he or she is the total package, and you walked away. This person loves... I, don't, I didn't even realize I said loves because we should be in light. This person damn near loves you. Everything about you. This is somebody that stands alone. Doesn't need a crowd with them. They're standing alone because they're trying to solve codependent issues within themselves. Like they, they're, they're taking a good hard look at themselves in that last relationship that they got off of and trying to understand where they messed up at. That's a good thing because they felt left out in the cold by someone and they were blindsided. Like they were completely blindsided, kind of how you were blindsided. You two are mirroring each other right now. You've, went, you've gone through the same pain. I don't want this to become a trauma bond for you, but you and this person have gone through the same type of pain. The Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, which you don't see coming is a high level commitment with this person. You want the same thing. Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Page of Pentacles, looking at what you have in one another and wanting to plant seeds and grow. This person is not going to bullshit you. Whoever this is, they want a serious relationship. 
when will you know this person is here? Three of Cups being here. Uh, this could be somebody that you work around, somebody that you're around when you're around a group of people, when you have choices. This is someone that's, I want to say, seen you in your choices. Like they've seen you moving around and they've seen you, I don't want to say work a room, but like they've seen you talk to people. They see how bubbly you are. They see how people receive you. Like they see you. The Empress and Queen of Cups, like they see, damn, this person admires you, collective. Whoever this is, they fucking admire you. They like, they look at you like you would be like the perfect mother, the perfect father, the perfect wife, the perfect husband, the perfect whatever in their mind. Um, shit. And yes, honey, the passion will be serious between the two of you. This person, how he looking at her, that's how he looking at you. Well, that's how she looking at him. This is how this person sees you. They see you as love, the, the love of their fucking life. You know, it's funny because I feel like they prayed for you. They asked for you. They said, if, if I get through this, send me somebody that's for real next time. Not somebody that's going to try to play me. Somebody that's going to try to use me. Somebody that's going to try to blindside me. Because I feel like this person was completely and totally blindsided by their ex. Left out in the cold, ten of pentacles in reverse, everything was released. Like, moved out, you went your way, I went mine. Now they're trying to find their happiness and they see it in you. I don't know what you did, honey. I don't know what you out here doing. Page of swords, you're, you're very mysterious to them. Very mysterious. Hmm. You could be a fire sign, you could be a Leo. I got Sagittarius up here too, this person could be. Um, Gemini on the table as well. Um, I, th this person is not worried so much about the surface shit that the ex person was worried about. They like the fact that you, you get up and you look good and you do things for yourself. They they look at it like if, if you're my if you're with me you're with me i don't i don't I'm, I'm there's no reason for me to be jealous i trust whoever this is you guys have a friendship so put it that way whoever this is for you you will develop first as friends that's why they don't have this jealousy about them or this you know feeling as though anybody could tell them anything about you and they would question it like they they this person feels like they know you intently this could be a soulmate for you King of Pentacles came up twice. Here he is again. Okay, so whoever this is, financially stable as well. Strength card. It could be a Leo, Ten of Cups. Magician being here. They want to manifest something strong uh, with you. I don't know if you're willing to go that far right now. No, no. Are you willing to go that far? could be a Virgo as well. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you might be one of those uh, collective, your, your, your romance might not heat up until fall. It's not going to happen in the summer. It's, it's looking like fall. This is looking like September, October situation for you. Um, you're moving slowly towards it, but here you are as the queen of fucking pentacles. You and this person keep chasing each other. Y'all are the same type of suit. Y'all think the same. So y'all keep chasing one another. Um, you're going to go to this very slowly. You are. Your ex is going to be crushed by this shit. I feel like your ex is watching you go towards this person slowly too. Um, or like they could feel you you're gonna put into somebody else that's not them like they just uh this motherfucker gonna go away but you're still gonna hold on to your independence that's why i said you're gonna kind of you're gonna move towards this very slowly because you're still holding on to you you still want to figure out a way to be able to navigate this new love shit and not lose yourself like you did in the last relationship so i feel like you're, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna hold on to you for dear life until you're like, okay, I need to make a decision whether or not I'm going to move forward with this person, you know? Ace of Wands right behind a new opportunity with the Judgment card. This is not somebody that you're going to be bored with. This is not a situation where you're going to have to think twice. You are going to want to go towards them.
someone is just stuck. This other person is just stuck. And I feel like it's happening with you and this new person. You guys are mirroring each other when it comes to the exes as well. They're just stuck in, in like a suspended time of when you were theirs and they won't walk away. Um, because you have a rebirth here with death. Like you're not the same person anymore. You don't think the same, look the same, walk the same, talk the same. Everything is different. Your whole perception, wisdom has, has enlightened you to change a lot of things about yourself and do, do the shadow work. You no longer need to work with this person. I just feel like it's reiterating the same thing is that this wasn't a twin for you. Whoever this other person was, was a karmic connection. It was a karmic soulmate. You know, it was, it was something that follows you through time. Um, and maybe it's the catalyst to make you, to make you have the rebirth. You know what I mean? So you and this ex may have chased each other through times because you have to always learn this lesson for some reason. For some reason, you always give too much. You are willing to put yourself on the back burner and someone before you and do everything for them. And you've done this before. And so it's almost like uh, spirit spins, sends this person to you so that you can wake up and realize that you are worth holding on to your resources. You are worth holding on to your heart. You are worth not having to put in 100% when someone is putting in zero. You're worth way more than that. That's why this karmic lesson keeps following you. <laughs> they feel like you hold, okay. So this is a sidebar. This person, this could be your ex, whoever this is, but they feel like you're holding on to their betrayal. Um, that's why you're moving on. Like you couldn't, I, I don't even want to say this out loud because it sounds so fucking stupid. Like you couldn't move on from the fact that they did what they did. Like you should have just moved on so we could have been together. Like you should have just moved on so that we, me and you can still, like this person will give you a narcissistic answer right now if you would have asked them why didn't we work out. They're going to say some kind of way it was your fault, okay? Communication is coming, which you don't expect. This person may try to call you this week, uh, may have already tried to call you or reach out to you some sort of way. Um, it's just not going to work. The way that they're coming is, is horrible. Um, it could be a cancer as well, but it's just like not, not taking accountability for, they, they caused these 10 swords. They put these 10 swords in your back. But yet they're gonna they're gonna make it seem as though well you tripped and fell into the sword so technically it wasn't my fault like this person is trying to give you a technical reason as to why they fucked up when they know in their heart they fucked everything up by not being loyal to you not being truthful with you and not protecting you that's just the bottom line and you've learned the lesson behind that it is what it is there's no coming back from once a lesson is learned i'm done you know so this this person who they need that's why i said Trying to pretend like this, this devil card in reverse, to me, yes, it can mean that you're trying to shed codependent, addictive, and toxic ways, but it also can mean you're trying to hide it so that you could get what you want. And it's wearing a mask. Like this person isn't changed. Okay. Clean it up. This person needs to get their shit together. Building blocks is here in serendipity. Ooh, with the yang, things are happening for a reason, honey. You are being aligned with the right people. And as I break the deck, soulmate. You're being aligned with the soulmate right now. This is going to be a very easy, calm connection. Um, I'm, I'm really happy for you when this comes along. Go to the edge. When it does happen, go for it because you'll feel it. It should not feel like this other situation. You shouldn't have to question anything and you shouldn't be doubting yourself. You really should feel good about yourself because this person, the way that they look at you, they adore you. Like this person would never ignore you, okay? So be yourself when you're around them. Go the distance, okay? Um, if you think everything is gonna go wrong with this person, then guess what, everything is gonna go wrong. But if you take your time, no one to put in, no one to take, you know what I mean? You don't have to jump in two feet straight up. You don't have to do that all the time. You can take your time, date, take your time, go slow. Um, but 
you are going to come to a fork in the road with this person because y'all are going to be so in tune and so in line. This person is going to want a commitment from you and you're going to be the one for once having to decide what it is that you want to do. Okay. So I really feel like that's coming up for you in like the next month or so or the next two months. It's, lo it's looking like September, October. Okay. But you've got a steamy romance coming your way. Um, it's looking like love new love not old all new okay i'm gonna pull one more card for you and then we're gonna get out of here just want to see what is this new person's intentions with the collective this reading went on and on and on and on i'm sorry what is this person's intentions with the collective oh oh god damn one two three their intentions, <laughs> oh my God, is to give you what you've asked for, to give you the type of love that you deserve, especially coming off of heartbreak and having to rebuild yourself after this person tried to break you down, referring to your ex. Movement choices, decisions, and awareness right behind it. This person is in your life because this is supposed to happen. This is the alignment. It's in, it's in order, one, two, three. It's in order, a new beginning with someone else. Um, working with other people, especially with awareness being here, I feel like when you two line up, it'll feel like you've just met up with an old friend, like from school, like you'll be childlike almost in your movements with this person, like y'all will have a lot of fun. Um, the shadow work has been done on both sides. Through heartache, both of you have gone through the same type of heartache. A truth will be told between the two of you. You two will have the truth. You, this won't be somebody that hides things from you and you won't hide things from them. So it's looking like a hell yes, okay, <laughs> when this does come along. But I'm going to end it right here. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.